I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Those thin-blooded fans will have to wear layers today to watch the Marshall Thundering Herd and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Hilltoppers. The Thundering Herd are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Marshall is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the... Marshall is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And it's off. Vega takes it at the 14. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. One of the best football players you're going to see on the field today is this young man at linebacker. He goes 110% and really makes offenses game plan around him. He has a nose for the football and always seems to be in on the tackle. And he can drop back in the coverage, too. He's a complete linebacker. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. The Hilltoppers come out the shotgun and give to the tailback. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, Coach. The halfback had nowhere to go from the get-go. They line up at the 32. Third and 12. Western Kentucky lines up in a shotgun set. Looking. He's looking down the middle. Got him on the run. He's taken down at the 46. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First down. Number one lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's under some heat. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Western Kentucky comes out with an eye formation. Number one, unload. They'll bring him down at midfield. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Drops back to pass. Number one, fires. He catches another one. Pierce is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Yeah, I think he's hurt his arm or shoulder on that play, but I don't think it's too bad. From the 29-yard line, first down. Western Kentucky lines up with three receivers. Throws this one out to the left, and this one's going to get intercepted. And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. Still's incomplete. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Here comes the punter, looking to boot this one away. Heath, the return man. He gets it away. Heath takes it at the 20. Well, guys, as this offense takes the field, tell me what you think they need to do to get back in the game. Well, the old kicker can stop warming up because it's forward down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game. Again. Left Witch with three wide receivers. Left Witch lets it fly. That's incomplete. Yo, that was a tough pass for him to hold on to. Yeah, but it wasn't the pass that was the problem. 
the hit is what jarred the ball loose. Hey, the quarterback is the one who left his wide receiver out to dry. You have to throw those passes in a place where the guy can protect himself. Three wide outs here, looking to throw. Throws it, and this one falls incomplete. Arnold was the intended target. That'll bring up third down. Third down, 10 yards to go. The Thundering Herd line up with three wide. Left wing drops back to pass. Fagan brings him down for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Herd set up in the gun. They need this pass. He lets it go. Caught at the 40. So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. So they'll keep the drive alive on that first down completion. These guys were on their last leg, and they came through with that catch for the first down. Wow. Whoa, you won't have any fourth down conversions that are more important than that. What a play. First, first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. The Hilltoppers come out in a 34 defense. The ball is tipped. Incomplete. Almost picked off. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. So that'll make it second down. Leftwich is back in the gun. Moves up in the pocket. He passes it. And it's incomplete. Kirk. Yeah, coach. Did you see that drop pass? Yeah, but it's safe to say that he heard footsteps, don't you think? I mean, the defender almost got there at the same time as the football. All right. Well, the correct answer is yes, he did drop the football. Come on, sweetheart. The quarterback is trying to get to the ball. You got to make those kind of plays out there. Left wing drops back. Incomplete. So that'll bring up a fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game. And now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Leftwich needs this pass. Got it. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Aggies of Texas A&M. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Aggies. The Aggies expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Texas A&M has a game-breaking player on defense, and he only gets better with every... Texas A&M lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends it downfield. Moody fields it at the nine. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Fakes to the back. He delivers. Has his fullback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Pickup of less than a yard on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Mississippi State in a four wide set. Direct snap to the back. Peterson gains about a yard on the play. They line up at the 31. It's third down and nine to go. Parker lines up in the shotgun. Looks, steps up, down the middle. 
And that one's incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Mississippi State ready to put this one away. Pro is back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Pro takes it to 28. Not much of a return on that one, guys. Boy, that's an excellent job of punt coverage there. Getting into position quickly and sealing off any space for him to run. Nice job. They'll start this drive at the 30. First and 10. Pro is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Here's the give. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Texas A&M comes out with two tight ends. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. Third down, 12 yards to go. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He throws left, catches it. McCauley tackles him at the 42. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. Pro lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Looks to pass. He's going left. That sailed over the receiver's head. Yeah, this receiver is fast, but not that fast. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Texas A&M comes out with an eye formation. Pro takes the toss left. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Texas A&M lines up in a shotgun set. Caught. Grant tackles him for a loss on the play. And they back up three yards on that play. Texas A&M gets set to kick this one away. Moody and McCauley set to return. And this one's a short kick. McCauley fields it at the 17. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? A field goal or touchdown can win it, Coach. And the time is a huge factor at this stage of the game. This should make for an exciting finish. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Parker is back in the gun. Here comes the pressure, and they got it. Mississippi State will take their first time out of the half. They line up at the 32. It's second down. They line up in the shotgun. Under pressure, he gets sacked on the play. Mississippi State will call a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 27. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. And he can't get away from the pressure. Mississippi State calls a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Set to go to the air. He flings it. And it's the tight end. And they're going to have to give the ball back.
Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the North Texas Mean Green and the Rice Owl. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Owls. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. North Texas needs a big game from their talented running back. I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead. North Texas is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And this one's a short kick. Woods takes it at the 14, breaks one. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They line up at the 29. First down. Rice comes to the line with three wide. He's looking for his man. It's complete. Mayo tackles him at the 38-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second and one. Ball on their own 38. Rice lines up with three receivers. Here they come. He throws left. The ball is tipped. How about that for a great play? Talking about great plays, the defender made a spectacular stab at the ball there and broke it up. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 38-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Kramer fakes the handoff. And it's the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get over between the zone coverage. We've got a first and 10. Rice lines up in a shotgun set, setting up play action. And it's incomplete. This one should be interesting. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. They got the pass interference right, but I think they missed a holding call back at the line of scrimmage. I didn't see it, coach, but these refs are calling a pretty good game up to this point, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The Owls are lining up with three receivers. Steps up. He's got to throw it in a hurry. From the 37-yard line. Second and long. Back to pass. Throwing right. And that one's incomplete. Finnerty was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it third down. So another third down facing the offense, and this one is third and long. Kramer drops back. He rolls out to the right. Kramer zips it. His receiver has it. Johnson probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. They're threatening inside the 20. Rice comes out of the shotgun. They go with a run. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. From the 15-yard line, second and seven. Rice in a four-wide set. Direct snap to the back. Matthew with a takedown at the 11-yard line. And the defense picks it up. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, you just got to get back to the fundamentals.
They'll line up at the 11. Third down. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. And it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds at the five. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Personal foul. Walking the pass. After this is to the goal. So they'll move him back after down. the penalty. I bet that one has the fans steaming. Uh, that wasn't a very bright play by that young man. You can bet that the fans aren't the only ones unhappy. His coaches don't look too happy either. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Abram tackles him for a loss on the play. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Let's see if they can punch this one in. And they'll run him again. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. The Owl line up with three wide. Looking. Kramer lets it go. Now that's the way to get in there and break up a pass. And more importantly, Coach, brings up a fourth down situation. It's fourth down. They'll line up the kicking team. This one is about 25 yards away. Rice could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. And it sails through the upright. First and long. Ball on their own 45. The mean green set up in the gun. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. The stars are out, but it'll probably still feel like midday because the heat is unrelenting for this game between the Wyoming Cowboys and the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Bulldogs. The Cowboys really have their work cut out for them today here, Kirk. Fresno State is led by their outstanding linebacker. His Wyoming is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Kicks it off. Number 80 fields it at the 19. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. For those of you tuning in, you get to see a great example of how the quarterback position is played. This guy is a very special player. And that's definitely the right term for him, special player. He has all the intangibles. I'm excited. I've really been looking forward to seeing him play. Not many quarterbacks mean as much to their team as this guy does. First down, 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. Fresno State. Sets up in the eye. Down the middle. It falls incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. It's second down. Fresno State lines up for the shotgun set. Draw play, and he's taken down at the 49. McDonald gains about four yards on the play. Third and six. The Bulldogs go with the eye formation. Carr drops the throw. Carr lets it fly. Fly. 
it's second down. They're in the eye. McDonald gets the call. He's tackled at the 13. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. McDonald is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He passes it, and it falls incomplete. Hello, sweetheart. 